Hello, welcome to MTEL. Right, today we're working on this Land Rover Freelander. I'm removing the prop shaft basically because it's got some noisy prop shaft bearings. And then what I'm going to do is do a little test drive because <coughs> there are, I've read on the internet that you can drive these cars without the prop shaft attached basically. And then what we're going to do is see how the actual car performs without the prop shaft and see how it drives. And then you can make your own decisions whether you're going to remove your own prop shaft and drive your vehicle without the prop shaft attached and um, then we'll also look about fixing the prop shaft basically which is damaged right let's get to work right we're under the car now um, this is the prop shaft as you can see I'll try to get the best light right this is the prop shaft We've got front union here this is a constant velocity joint I've already unbolted most of this. You've got the bolts through here, six bolts up, small torques, uh, male torques with 30 mil bolts the other side. Then we have this unit here. Now if I believe correctly, this is a viscous unit or some type of clutch unit basically, which drives the rear wheels. And we've got the two different differential bearings which are here and here basically, which mount the prop shaft to the body. Now, and then up the back, which is over here. We've got the fitting up the back, which is here. I've already taken the bolts out and I've just got one pin left in there. Um, I've already cracked these off as well up here. So basically what we've got to do now is just undo this joint off of this body. Now normally with these, what you got to do is give them a tap because they kind of insert into one in it, one another up here basically these two units so they kind of pressed in so I need to get a hammer right so first things first I'm gonna disconnect this up here I'll give this a little tap there it goes pop 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 that's out take that bolt out there so that can come off now so that's that now what I'm gonna do I'm going to lay a ball across the pit, which is here, and I'm going to take this UJ out. Let's get this light in a bit of a better place. So what I'm going to do now is take this UJ out. Let's push that down. Drop that down like so. Then next, what I want to do is I want to drop the pot down so. This is pretty much dangling on that, nice and supported. So I'm gonna move this beam over to here. Underneath this section here, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the pop down, we're gonna undo the main bit, the main joint here. So we've got four bolts, one here. Then we got another, so undo this one here. It's two. So undo this one. Line this one out. Right, what I've done is I've re removed the three out of the four. Now the final bolt is that one up there. As I undo that, the main center will drop down onto this beam and then I can fish this out. So if I put another beam here, because this is, this is a very heavy unit. So it, it weighs quite a lot. So basically what we're trying to do is remove it as best as we can. There it goes. There 
there we go. Let's come down. Oh, that's on there. Right. So that's off. Pops out. Now what we've got is we've got the UJ up top. I'm going to move this beam back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull that out of there like so. Twiddle that round. Down she comes. And there you go. Pop shafts off. I believe it's yummy. <laughs> that prop shaft bearing is in excellent condition. That's not what you want to hear, basically. Right, so yeah, right, pops off now. Now, basically, we've got our two bearings, so let's get this prop in the right place. Now, this bearing. Nice and quiet, hear that? So that bearing's in very good condition, this one. But this one, that ain't in very good condition. That is shot to pieces, that bearing. So that one needs replacing. So anyway, we've got the pop shaft off. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna move this out from underneath the motor and stick it over there, get it out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give her a little run and see what she drives like. <coughs> right. Now in the motor, got no pop shaft on, so we're going to give her a little test drive. Um, I will say if you decide to run your car with no prop, the front prop, basically, where the cup sits in, it's got like a, a recess. And the actual union, the CV joint, basically, the constant velocity joint, presses into it and if you run it without and the water gets on it it will corrode it and then when you come to put your prop back on it won't want to go back on because obviously it's a transmission fit to some degree so you're gonna to have to find a way of covering it up and sealing it and um, you could wrap it up with some tape or something or see it you can get off eBay you can get these cups which go on the back of CV joints basically you can see about getting one on on them like a press plastic press on cap or the other option you could smear it in grease to protect it basically from the outside elements I'd also do the back one as well to make sure that doesn't corrode up because you want them clean when you put your pot back on but <clears throat> I'm gonna see how this handles now and see how it drives um, right let's give her a little run shall we right see how she pulls away that the prop is not connected. Got a lot more power as well, I will say. find as well when you take that prop off you'll get better better mpg as well because when that pops on basically the front drive trains fight fighting the rear basically and the viscous coupling creates drag so you'll probably find that your mpg will go up and at the moment handling wise i can't really feel much difference on the on the road <coughs> all i would say if you take that prop off i wouldn't take this thing off road because it will definitely get stuck um so yeah, as long as you're going to be driving her on the road and not basically taking her off the road, why not? Should be fine. And at the moment, it feels fine on the road. It drives nice. Much freer driving system. Run up the motorway. 
belt on. Let's put that on quickly. from like every single point of the car really so that that's a little tip for you so if you've got that noise you've got a bad humming sound and literally it's from the minute you start driving the minute you start rolling you will hear the noise and now um, because the prop spins at a faster rpm than what the actual your wheels do so literally the minute you start rolling you will hear it and if you hold on your handbrake you can feel the grinding and the, the vibrations through your handbrake so yeah simple as that really so yeah can you take the prop shaft off of a freelander this is a td4 as well two litre 2004 and it's driving fine i've got my old traction control light on but that's because of my brake light switch so that isn't anything to do with the prop that's to do with basically my Foot brake switch, my pedal switch, basically, which I know about, which I need to, I need to fix, which I'll probably make another video at a later date. But yeah, she drives very nice, very good. Might, might leave it off. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, and I, um, I'll make another video of me repairing the prop and probably putting it back on. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please share my videos and subscribe. <laughs>